Al-Rashid, the House of Rashid, or the House of Rashid were a historic Arabian house or dynasty that existed in the Arabian Peninsula between 1836 and 1921. Rulers of the Emirate of Jabal Shammar and the most formidable enemies of the House of Saad, rulers of the Emirate of Nejd, they were centered in Hayy a city in northern Nejd that derived its wealth from being on the route of the Hajj pilgrimage and was a city known for its trading, which absorbed many of the travelers that were bound to Mecca. The rulers of Hay were the sons of Abdullah ibn Rashid, founder of the dynasty. History The al-Rashid derived their name from their forebear Abdullah ibn Rashid. The first Amir, Abdullah ibn Rashid was the first to begin the establishment of the Emirate of Hayy. The Rashidi Emirs cooperated closely with the Ottoman Empire. However, this cooperation became problematic as the Ottoman Empire lost popularity. In 1890, al-Rashid occupied Riyadh. Then they defeated al Sauds and forced him to go into exile, first in Bahrain, next to Qatar and finally to Kuwait. As with many Arab ruling dynasties, the lack of a generally accepted rule of succession was a recurrent problem with the Rashidi rule. The internal dispute normally centered on whether succession to the position of Emir should be horizontal or vertical. These internal divisions within the family led to bloody infighting. In the last years of the 19th century six Rashidi leaders died violently. Nevertheless, the al-Rashid family still ruled and fought together in the Saudi Rashidi Wars. During the first 20 years of the 20th century the Arabian Peninsula saw a long-running series of wars as the Saudis and their allies sought to unite the peninsula under their rule. While the al-Rashid rallied the majority of other tribes to their side the effort proved futile and by 1921 Hayy was captured by Ibn Sa'd. Ibn Sa'd had the upper hand and the support of the majority of Central Arabian tribes. Some members of the Rashid family left the country and went into voluntary exile, mostly to Iraq. By the 1990s only a handful were still outside Saudi Arabia. Emirs of the House of Rashid Abdullah bin Rashid Abdullah came to power after got the support from Imam Faisal bin Turka bin Abdullah al Saud to be assigned officially and take over the emirative hail instead of the current emir, Muhammad bin Ali al Jafar al Shamari. Abdullah bin Rashid came to the picture after leading a revolt against the ruler of Hayy, Muhammad bin Ali who was a fellow member of the Jafar al shamari lineage. As a leader, Abdullah was praised for bringing peace and stability both to Hay and to the surrounding region. Abdullah demanded from his brother Prince Abed an AHD according to which succession to the office of Emir would remain in Abdullah's line, where it was supported by their cousin and close friends Amal bin Saban from al Saban family who supported both brothers for the succession. Talal bin Abdullah, the son of Abdullah. Talal is remembered for his relative liberalism and interest in building projects. During his rule, the Bazan Palace in Hayy was completed. He established regular trade connections with Iraq and expanded the Rashidi sphere of influence. The inhabitants of Qasim, weary of Warabi tyranny, turned their eyes towards Talal who had already given a generous and inviolable asylum to the numerous political exiles of that district. Secret negotiations took place, and at a favorable moment the entire uplands of that province, after a fashion not indeed peculiar to Arabia, annexed themselves to the kingdom of Shomir by universal and unanimous suffrage. Talal was considered relatively tolerant towards foreigners including traders in Hayy. Many of these traders belonged to the Shia sect, hated by some Sunni, doubly hated by the Wahhabis. But Talal, Sikh, affected not to perceive their religious discrepancies, and silenced all murmurs by marks of special favor towards these very dissenters. 
and also by the advantages which their presence was not long in procuring for the town. In the 1860s, internal disputes in the House of Saad allowed a Rashidi Ottoman alliance to oust them. The Rashidi occupied the Saudi capital of Riyadh in 1865 and forced the leaders of the House of Saad into exile. Talal later died in a shooting incident which has been termed mysterious. Charles Doughty, in his book Travels in Arabia Deserter, writes that Talal committed suicide. Talal left seven sons, but the oldest, Bandar, was only 18 or 20 when his father died. Mut ibn Abdullah, a younger brother of Talal, he was supported by senior members of the Rashid family and the sheikhs of the Shema sections. After only a year, he was shot and killed in the Barzan Palace by his nephew and next Amir, Bandar. Doughty's version of the events is that Bandar and Bada, the second oldest son, cast a silver bullet to kill their uncle because they knew he wore an amulet that protected him against lead. Bandar bin Talal ruled for only a short time before he was killed by his uncle, Muhammad, the brother of Mutib. Bandar reportedly married his uncle's widow and had a son by her, Muhammad bin Abdullah. A confrontation outside Hay with his nephew, the young Amir Bandar, ended with Muhammad killing Bandar. Muhammad then continued his journey to Hay and announced himself as the new Amir. In order to prevent the possibility of revenge, Muhammad gave orders for the execution of all of Bandar's brothers, Bandar's cousins, and their slaves and servants. Only one of Talal's sons, Naif, survived. Additionally he eliminated the threat around him from his uncle, Ubaid and his sons. While he relied on the far cousins Al Saban family who identified as supporter for his father before himself. In spite of the inauspicious beginning, his rule turned out to be the longest in the history of the Rashidi dynasty. His rule became a period of stability, expansion and prosperity. His expansion reached Al Jorf in Palmyra to the north, and Tamar and Kabar to the west. In 1891, after a rebellion, Abd al-Rahman bin Faisal bin Turka al-Sa'd left Riyadh. The Sa'd family, including the 10-year-old Ibn Sa'd, went into exile in Kuwait. Abd al-Aziz bin Mutib, a son of Mutib, the third emir, he was adopted by his uncle Muhammad, the fifth emir, and brought up to be his heir. After Muhammad died of natural causes, Abd al-Aziz succeeded him unopposed. However Rashidi rule was insecure as their Ottoman allies were unpopular and weakening. In 1904, the young Ibn Sa'd, the future founder of Saudi Arabia, returned from exile with a small force and retook Riyadh. Abd al-Aziz died in the Battle of Rodate Mahana with Ibn Sa'd in 1906. Mut ibn Abd al-Aziz succeeded his father as emir. However, he was not able to win support of the whole family, and, within a year, he was killed by Sultan bin Hamoud. Sultan bin Hamoud, a grandson of Ubaid, he was criticized because he ignored the AHD between his grandfather and the first emir. He was unsuccessful in fighting Ibn Sa'd, and was killed by his own brothers. Sayyud bin Hamoud, another grandson of Ubaid, Sayyudi was killed by the maternal relatives of Sayyudi bin Abdulaziz, the 10th Emir. Sayyudi bin Abdulaziz, a boy of 10 when he was made Emir, his maternal relatives of the Al Saban family ruled as regents on his behalf until he came of age. Based on the constitution of Imara, in 1920, he was assassinated by his cousin, Abdullah bin Talal. Two of his widows remarried. Nora bin Tamud al Sabin became Ibn Saud's eighth wife, and Fadar bin Tasi al Shurarim of the ABDE section of the Shema tribe became Ibn Saud's ninth wife and the mother of King Abdullah of Saudi Arabia. Abdullah bin Mutib, a son of the seventh Emir, he surrendered to Ibn Saud. He was 20 years old. Despite of that, he was one of the key factor of Hayali Mara deterioration. 
Muhammad bin Talal, a grandson of Naif, the only surviving son of Talal, the second Emir. Muhammad bin Talal's wife Nura bint Saban from the Al Saban family married to King Abdulaziz after he was imprisoned by him, surrendered to Ibn Sa'd. One of the daughters of Muhammad bin Talal, W.A.T.F.A., married Prince Musarid bin Abdulaziz al Saad, the twelfth son of Ibn Saad. Prince Musarid and W.A.T.F.A. became the parents of Prince Faisal bin Musarid, the assassin of King Faisal. There has been a tendency to attribute the development of the House of Rashid to trading and commercial expansion. But recently documents have come to light which emphasize the significance of external pressures and the Rashidis' interaction with foreign governments and leaders.